I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and today in the shop we have a very special build and a very special truck. Now I know it doesn't look like much right now but let me tell you what's going on with this thing. This actually belongs to a young man named Levi King from Pennsylvania. Now Levi is a Make-A-Wish kid and it was his desire to have his 95 single cab six cylinder truck made over by us here at americantrucks.com. Now you're looking at this thing going, wait a minute, that's not a single cab truck and it's certainly not a six cylinder truck. Well, let me fill you in. Levi's dad actually sourced this truck because Levi's a tall dude. The single cab truck just really wasn't working for him and his original truck had almost 200,000 miles and was just almost beyond repair. So he sourced us a pretty cherry 96 XL extended cab truck. Even better, the five liter is under the hood. So we're gonna have some fun with that as well. Levi's been very good with giving us some direction for the truck. He wants a dark metallic gray color for this thing. He wants it lifted about four inches with some 33s underneath it, all of which should be no problem for us here at AT. Now, our friends at Malvern Collision are gonna help us out with the paint as they've done in the past with some of our Mustang builds. So that's our first step. Once we get the truck back, we're gonna get to work on some of the other aesthetic work, some mechanical stuff that this needs as well, and then go from there, guys. So this should be a fun one. I hope you stay tuned for it. But for now, let's get this thing off the paint. Well, check it out, guys. Levi's truck is back from paint. The gang over at Malvern Collision absolutely killed this thing yet again. They do a great job in a very tight timeline. Magnetic metallic is the color we ended up going with. As you can see, we've got the Line X back there as well, kind of carried over the bed rail a little bit. That's a look Levi really wanted with this truck, so we made sure we did that for him. But we have a tight timeline, guys. So in order to get this thing done for Levi, it's time to divide and conquer. So Joe's in the process of yanking out the five liter power plant right now. When this thing is out, we're gonna ship the whole shell over to a friend's shop, get this thing re-geared for Levi because we're gonna lift it, we're gonna put some bigger wheels and tires on it so we don't want it to be a dog out on the street for Levi in addition to the power we're gonna give this thing. But I'm gonna stop talking and uh, we're gonna help get this thing done. Well guys, if you've ever disassembled a pushrod five liter motor before, your floor probably looks like this. You can tell the boys and I have been pretty busy on Levi's motor here. Now, there's a lot going on inside the motor. For instance, brand new Ford Performance E303 cam should give them a nice little chop at idle. Uh, brand new JBA shorty headers to replace those tetanus shot stock manifolds uh, being topped off with a brand new Edelbrock Performer intake manifold. Really, really nice piece here. We're gonna hold off with the final assembly uh, just because we wanna lower this in. We don't wanna damage this with the engine hoist. But on top of the performance goodies, we also took care of some maintenance for Levi because let's face it guys, this thing was rounding about 100,000 miles. So timing chain, water pump, oil pan, gaskets, distributor, plugs, wires, you name it, we did it. And uh, this thing should be pretty fresh for Levi once it is dropped in. Speaking of which, that's our next step. We just got the truck back from getting the gears done, so we're gonna finish this thing up, drop the engine back into the truck. Stereo is currently going in as we speak. A lot going on right now. Again, divide and conquer is kind of the theme of this build. Got a short time frame for this thing to get done, but we're doing our best for you, Levi, and we hope you enjoy it. Well, Joe and the boys have been cranking away here on Levi's truck. Engine's back in, gears are done. Now it's time to tackle some maintenance and suspension goodies. Let's face it, guys, this is not a new truck. It needed a lot of love on the maintenance side of things. So brand new secondary fuel tank. I'm sure a lot of you guys familiar with these older F-150s know 
These things are prone to rusting away and leaking, so knock that out for them along with a brand new fuel pump as well. Leaf springs and perches were a disaster when this thing rolled in, so we blew those out, put on a brand new set of leafs and perches for them to make way for the suspension lift kit. Now we chose the Rough Country 4-inch suspension lift kit because we think it's the nice number for these trucks and it's gonna allow the altitude for the 33 inch tires that Levi really wanted for his dream rig. So, but let's cruise on up to the front of the truck. We got a lot more stuff going on up there. You'll notice the brand new side steps that the boys installed uh, should help making getting in and out of the truck a lot easier thanks to this new ride height. But here you go, obviously a lot more going on up front with this particular lift kit. Brand new drop brackets for the radius arms, pitman arms, steering stabilizer, new shocks on all four corners, brand new beefy springs on this thing. And again, should give us the added altitude needed to hide those 33 inch tires underneath Levi's F-150. You'll also see some of the maintenance stuff going on up here that we already talked about. Spring buckets, again, a really, really rough area for these particular trucks. They tend to rust away and rot. So blew those out, brand new spring buckets in there for them as well. Uh, lower rad support. This thing is gonna be a brand new truck practically for Levi when he gets it back. New brake lines, soft and hard lines on this thing. And you can kind of see those JBA shorty headers peeking through the engine bay here. Well, that's just part one of two of the new exhaust system. We're gonna tie this thing all together with a brand new Flowmaster, but you need some wheels and tires, so let's tackle that next. Check these things out, guys. The Method Standard Wheel in black, 18 by nine is the diameter and size. They're wrapped in the 275-7018 Nitto Trail Grappler, about a 33 inch tire, and this is exactly what Levi wanted for his F-150. Should have a real nice stance along with that Rough Country four inch lift kit and black because Levi just digs the black look with his truck. I am just in love with these wheels. Method makes a really, really awesome off-road wheel. And yes, I know the chrome lugs might not be everybody's favorite, but honestly, they tie in the hardware real nice. And the only chrome remaining on the truck for you, Levi, are your manual locking hubs. Sorry, buddy, but couldn't do much about this one. But guys, almost there. Again, we got some interior stuff. We got some appearance stuff to show you. And then it's time for the big reveal. Now before we get the truck completely on the ground, obviously we had to finish up the rest of the exhaust system, so that's what Joe's working on now. A uh, classic American truck like the F-150, what better than slapping on a classic American made exhaust system like the Flowmaster American Thunder. Centerpiece is that Super 40 Series muffler, kind of built the brand from Flowmaster, defined that sound that we all know and love from the brand. So that, in addition to those JBA shorties, that E-cam, this thing should have a pretty nasty sound once it's down on the ground, running good, and uh, hopefully brings a smile to Levi's face every time he lays into the throttle a little bit. A couple small modifications due to the piping rubbing into the leafs here because of that lift kit. Nothing Joe can't handle, of course, so we're making some good progress on that. Then it's time to get the truck down and finish things up. Guys, come on in and check out Levi's interior. It is absolutely sick for a 20 plus year old truck. We got the front and rear seats recovered in a black leather. They're absolutely mint and super comfortable, may I add. Little touches like LED lighting throughout in the dash and also in your dome light. But my favorite part, no doubt, is the new system we hook Levi up with. That was a biggie on his list, so we couldn't disappoint him there. New Alpine head unit, brand new separates, JL sub box, amp, the whole nine yards. He's really gonna dig cruising this thing around town, but we have one more thing to show you. It's kind of a biggie, right? The exterior. Let's get outside the truck and check that out. All right, guys, so suspension's done, engine work's done, interior's looking good, the sound system is rocking. Only one more thing to talk about, and yes, of course, I'm talking about the exterior. And what you're looking at, guys, is exactly what Levi requested for his F-150. The gunmetal paint job blacked out everything, including the grill, the bumpers, both front and rear, and the smoked tail lights, in addition to the smoked LED headlights. We actually threw some bed lighting in there for him as well for some added accent lighting. And my favorite part is definitely this hood. Little cow hood, nothing too crazy over the top, but just enough to kick it up a notch. And all together, guys, the wheels, the paint, the blacked out look, I think we really nailed this one. Again, big hat tip to Joe over there. He's really been killing himself on this build. Time to just get this thing cleaned up and over to the big reveal. Levi, we hope you dig it, buddy. Yeah. 
we've had in the last few years a lot of experience working with Make-A-Wish. It's been an unbelievable pleasure, I know, for me and a lot of my colleagues in the video department because we get to make dreams come true and build some incredible cars uh, for very, very deserving kids. And I'm happy to say we can do it twice this year. This is the one I, I've been waiting for because, man, we saw this thing come together. And when I first met your mom and dad, Levi, uh, they started talking to me a little bit about what kind of kid you were and how great you were and what you like to do. When you first got the word from Make-A-Wish, you didn't want it. You said, give it to somebody else. And it's a big, humble thing that you don't see out of a lot of people. And uh, we want to make sure we gave you the truck that you deserve. So I know you had some little wishes with the truck, but more importantly, you just wanted to see this thing reliable, so you can hang out with your friends, take road trips, take it hunting. And uh, I think we did that and then some for you. All right, so I know you've been dying to see this thing, right? Like, come on, let's just get to it, right? We're gonna count down to from three, two, one. Let's see that truck. What do you say? What do you think, buddy? Awesome. Did we, uh, we nail your dream or what? We had some very specific requests from, from you and your dad. Is that everything you'd imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Speechless is usually a good thing. So there we go. And one more thing, my friend. Those belong to you now, okay? Hide them at night so your parents don't steal this thing. So here you go, man. I mean, this thing is a completely new truck. And uh, we just want to know, do you like it, man? Freaking awesome. <laughs> there you go. Put your hands together one more time, everybody. Congrats, man. Well, we just unveiled Levi's truck here at our annual company picnic, and as you can see, it's a huge success. Levi has not been able to stop staring at this thing for the last hour, so that puts a big smile on all our faces and all the great people that worked on this truck the last couple of weeks. Levi could not deserve this anymore. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already for more great truck content. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.